Good morning and welcome, Abe. Um, this is uh, really a wonderful opportunity because we have met already in the past. Several times. <laughs> but uh, now I can hear some updates from you. But before going into updates and what are the latest news, let's start from scratch. Tell me about your journey. How did you get to where you are now with the Sun Exchange? Well, it's been a long journey. Um, I don't know where on the journey I am. <laughs> Hopefully I'm still at the beginning. Um, but I, I guess it all kind of... Um, my, my interest in solar power um, came from um, my interest in geography um, in, in, in a most basic sense. I mean, I remember when I was about eight years old, I was sat in a geography class um, playing around with a solar powered calculator. This is back in 1990, uh, 1992, playing around with a solar cell on a, on a calculator covering up the solar cell and waiting to see how long it took for the screen to go blank. Um, and I figured out, okay, well, that's producing electricity. And I remember going home and asking my mum, why can't we string loads of these together and power houses with them? Wow. And, um, and she said it would, be, it would be far too expensive, so it, it won't happen. Um, but then move forward um, 20 years, um, I'm... Start, I started up a solar installation company, um, putting solar panels on houses, um, and um, and from there we I built up that solar installation company in the UK to being doing solar installations on schools and on um, hospitals and um, theatres, police stations, you name it. We, we put solar panels on it, um, and we I did that business as a as a workers cooperative, um, so a um, so a worker owned and run business. Um, and as a result of being a cooperative business, we naturally gravitated towards um, sort of cooperatively minded projects. So community scale projects where individuals can participate in a, in a solar project and make something happen that otherwise wouldn't happen. Um, also making it sort of, um, more accessible um, and available for people to invest into solar power, where conventionally solar energy is reserved for those who've got enough money to put solar panels on the roof of their own home. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, if, you, if you're lucky enough to own a property with, with a roof space big enough and uh, have the money to, to buy a solar power plant, you're one of very, very few people in the world. So most people on Earth don't, ha don't have access to the ability to put solar panels on the roof of their own, of their own home. Um, whether they don't own their own property or they live in an apartment or a flat or literally don't have the money available. So that's... Um, it kind of excludes most people from, from accessing solar, which is something that, that I, I realised very very early in my solar journey that um, is something which I wanted to address. Um, so moving now for, to 2014, I moved to, to, Cal to Cape Town, South Africa, almost by coincidence. Like, I never really chose to go to Cape Town. I applied for a job um, to, to move to Australia, um, and that posting was cancelled, and I got a, a call from the, from the company um, saying um, we, we're opening up a position in Cape Town instead do you want to take that um, and I was like sure I'll, I'll, I'll go to Cape Town um, and, and then I, so I moved there uh, in 2014 um, and as soon as I got to South Africa I realised you know, having just run a solar installation company for five years um, putting solar panels in the UK of all places moved to South Africa and I realised I, I was landing into Cape Town for the first time I, there was no solar panels on any of the roofs and it's one thing I always look out for whenever I'm going anywhere. I'm always looking for solar panels on roofs. Um, but there were no solar panels on the roofs in Cape Town. Um, and um, the projects I, I was going to South Africa to work on were the very, very large-scale projects to put out in the desert um, to sell electricity to the, to the national utility. Uh, but those projects take a long time to roll out and a long time to develop. But, um, but there is plenty of money available to fund those big projects. But what was lacking in South Africa in 2014 was, uh, was funding... Um, to enable schools and businesses and communities to go solar um, at no cost to them. Uh, because in the UK there's subsidy programmes or there's very, very low cost um, um, debt available to allow people to borrow money if you, if you need to. Uh, but in South Africa, debt is really expensive. The government's got way bigger problems on their, on their shoulders than, uh, than subsidising clean energy for businesses. So um, I had to come up with a solution. And I realised that 
um, sending money back home in South Africa was an extremely complicated and time-consuming thing to have to do. It's a fairly old-fashioned banking system, so you have to fill in forms by hand and then go and queue up in a bank and then they will, they will then send money back home to wherever you are with a, for a big fee, in a large has been a large amount to, to warrant the fee. Um, and very soon after that, I, I did my first Bitcoin transaction. Um, I realized, okay, I've been following Bitcoin for years. I've always had an interest in alternative currencies. Um, so I bought some Bitcoin off a local South African exchange and I sent it to my friend in London and he sent it back to me and it took a 20 minute round trip. And I had basically had the same amount of Bitcoin just to back it back in my wallet than I did to start with. Um, and at that point I was like, holy shit, this technology is amazing. And um, I remember going to my friend's barbecue or a braai as they call it in South Africa. And I said, I said to my friend Frank, I said, um, um, I'm going to start a business that involves Bitcoin, crowdfunding and solar. And I don't know what it is, but I'm going to start a business that involves those three things. Well, uh, so uh, the, the, the journey started very uh, young, yeah. but uh, then clearly led uh, to, to what uh, you are doing now. Yeah. So um, you are the founder and CEO of the Sun Exchange. Correct. So what is the Sun Exchange? So Sun Exchange is um, a platform that enables anyone anywhere in the world to buy a solar panel online and have it installed onto a project in South Africa or other sunny emerging markets. Your solar panel is then supplying electricity to the, the project of your choice and that electricity is purchased from you by that project. Um, and that, that, the earnings that you're getting from selling electricity to your project of your choice, or projects of your choice rather, is returned to you in Bitcoin. It can also be returned to you in the, in the national currency, but most people don't because it's much easier, much better to earn in Bitcoin. So, um, and that money can, you can then withdraw and send it back home to pay for your electricity bills at home if you wish to do that, or you can keep it on the platform and redeploy it into more projects. So you can kind of compound your income over time by spending the Bitcoin you're earning on more solar projects, or you can hodl the Bitcoin or withdraw it or whatever. It's just your, it's your income. So it's, in an absolute nutshell, it's a way for people to earn income from solar energy. That's what it is. It's a, it's a digital platform to allow people to earn income by providing solar energy to businesses that need it uh, in emerging markets. Uh, one of the things that uh, you just said is very interesting because um, Bitcoin is decentralized, mm. but we always believed that energy must be centralized. Mm. In a certain way, Sun Exchange decentralizes energy as well because you said I could purchase cells in a very sunny place like South Africa and then offset my energy cost uh, in a place, I don't know, in Norway, mm. where setting up solar panels wouldn't likely be a choice. Yeah, and, it's, and you can scale up your virtual solar array at will. You can buy the tiny unit and, and go from there. It doesn't need to be an all-in-one transaction. You can, over time, build up a virtual solar array. Um, but, you're, but you're right, I mean, decentralized solar energy is not new. Um, any solar power plant in the built environment is, is decentralized power. So, but we've gone one step further than that, and we're decentralizing the ownership of decentralized energy. And, and the benefit that can be anywhere geographically. Co correct. I mean, uh, I mean you, you've probably heard of a company called Solar City um, in the US. They do something similar to Sun Exchange on the, on the business side, which is they deploy solar power plants onto, onto properties in the US. But the money was raised by Goldman Sachs, so Goldman Sachs gave them some money, they go deploy it into solar, which is, which is great. I mean, they, they've done tremendously well. Um, but we wanted to do it differently. We wanted to do, uh, enable individuals to participate in solar because you know, these days, you know, climate change is the biggest threat to humanity. You know, New York, London are going to be flooded very shortly because of climate change. Um, and so there the, the really is a, a race to, to reduce emissions um, and it's a very real race and um, I think people are only just starting to really realise this is happening because they're seeing signs of climate change everywhere. Um, so there are in millions and millions and millions of people around the world that want to see change happen but they feel frustrated or they're waiting for their governments to do something. 
And waiting for government to do something is a fool's errand, you know? You might as well just do take action individually. Individual action is what makes actions happen. Uh, so so we've our platform allows individuals to now go and do the things they actually want to see happen. What is the minimum amount that someone can uh, put on the platform to our, buy a plan? Our latest project right now is to solar power a plastic recycling factory, um, plastic recycling um, plant, and that each solar cell costs about $4, so $4 cells. Um, and uh, the earnings rate is around a 12% internal rate of return um, over the 20 year lifespan. So around 12% a year on average will be the income, the value of the income you're, you're earning. Um, and um, you can buy them the click of a button. You get to go to sonexchange.com, sign up an account. You're given a Bitcoin wallet as part of your dashboard. So you don't, if, you don't, if you've never used Bitcoin before, you get given a Bitcoin wallet. So actually we've been the first, um, the, the, for many, many of our users, probably about 50% of our users, we're the first time they've ever even been touched Bitcoin. It's their first exposure to Bitcoin. And it's the first Bitcoin people have earned is through our platform. What percentage of uh, the users um, who purchase sales are from within South Africa versus uh, out of, uh, of uh, South Africa? I think Africa. now about 80% are bought from outside of South Africa. Mm -hmm. um, but, but most of our, uh, of our big buyers come from um, Australia, the UK, Netherlands, Germany, the United States, maybe Canada. Um, and, um, and we've got a lot of South African uh, users, but they don't, because it's, it's a lower income country. So um, they, they tend not to buy as many solar cells because it's literally just the proportions of income that, that they have. It's, it's quite interesting to see the, the sort of the global economics play out on our platform very visibly about wh who are the wealthy countries. Um, what, what numbers do people see as big numbers, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but we have registered users on our platform now from 170 countries or more than 170 countries. Um, I, I, we've probably got some people in Monaco. I'd love to get more people on the platform on Monaco, but uh, yeah, it's uh, truly global. So uh, what are the next steps in terms of projects? So we, the next project, um, okay, so we're separating out the solar projects and the actual projects that we're gonna use to build our, build our company. Um, so on, on the solar project side, we're just gonna do more projects and, and bigger. So the next um, project that's going live and being turned on was, was fully funded about six months ago, and that's a project in Zimbabwe, uh, which is a 500 kilowatt solar plant with one megawatt hour of battery storage. Um, and the electricity issues in Zimbabwe are enormous. Um, and this farm called Nimbe Fresh, they're, in, they're, they're at the, like, the, uh, the coal face of the cold chain. So any blueberries, for example, you buy off a supermarket shelf in, in Europe has likely come from Nimbe Fresh. And it's been in the cold chain from the moment it's picked to the moment it's, it goes in your mouth, it's in the cold chain. Whether it be on a truck or in your fridge or in an aeroplane, whatever, it's in the cold chain. Um, so getting, fixing the sustainability of the cold chain in Africa is absolutely vital for job creation. It's vital for food security. It's vital for keeping costs low and keeping the, the quality, quality of products up. So basically it's all about the cold and it's all about the energy. So we're putting, um, um, a reliable, 100% reliable solar and storage system on, on that farm. And uh, that's under construction right now. It might already have been live as, as we speak. But the next phase of that is even bigger and it's to solar power their water pumps. So they've got huge irrigation dams which they have to flood, um, put water into all of their fields um, all, all day long. And if the, if the water gets cut off because there's no power, the crop can suffer. Um, so we're solar powering their water system so they've got unreliable, uh, completely reliable rather, uh, water irrigation. So that's the next solar project. Um, and we'll be doing more projects in the rest of Africa, um, in, in agriculture, in tourism, um, and in schools, education, and those kind of things. So that's, those, that's the, the future for the projects. And what is the future of Sun Exchange as a company? So we've got some, some, some big changes happening, um, some all, all really exciting stuff. So we are um, planning a, um, a decentralized um, insurance product um, to allow our community to participate in the insuring, insurance of our solar power plants. So in the event of a component failure or, a, or a, of a consumer offtake a default, we can move a solar power plant or, or we can replace a, a component easily, which our traditional insurers are always difficult about. So if we have a lightning strike on a solar power plant, which does happen, 
Um, the warranty may not be uh, validated or um, the insurance company may refuse to pay out. And that's the detriment of all of the owners of that solar power plant. So by having a decentralized insurance fund, it allows our, our members, our users, our community to self-insure the project. So if there is a, a component that needs to be fixing, we can easily draw down from a, from a DeFi insurance protocol in, in seconds via community consensus rather than via um, a traditional insurer. And then they, the people who have taken their tokens will then get a share of the premiums that otherwise have been paid out. So that's in our white paper that was um, published back in 2017, 2018. Um, and only now really is the DeFi um, movement and the, and the technology behind it enabling such a thing. And uh, so we don't need to build anything from scratch anymore. We will look out for a protocol or a platform that will allow us to, to, to achieve that. Um, we're also looking to explore um, a, a security token offering um, of our equity. So we're, we're doing a Series B uh, investment round at the moment. So we'd love to be explore doing that under a, an STO, um, so tokenizer equity. And then finally, um, it, we, I think the time is right now to tokenize the solar cells. So um, finding a legal jurisdiction which is friendly enough to, uh, to tokenize uh, security tokens, but create almost like an NFT-based solar cell. Because each project is different. Exactly. So it yeah. would be natural for them not to be fungible. In, in, exactly. And each, each solar project you consider to be a collection. Like mm -hmm. if we launch a new project, there's a new collection of cells. Mm -hmm. Each solar cell in that project, they are almost, they are basically the same. That's all getting the amount of solar energy. So mm -hmm. they don't, they're, they're, each collection will be the same token, token mm -hmm. type. Um, but then if you hold that token, you get the financial yield from it. Yeah. Because that's really what's going on here. You're buying a solar panel and getting the yields. So if, if you own the, 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 the contract, the, you know, the, if you own that, that digital asset, that gives you right of ownership of deed of title over the physical asset. And of course, that physical asset is doing real work, so producing real electricity that's yeah. being purchased with real money. Yeah. Um, and that can then be returned to the token holder. So um, that's um, something we're, we're looking into now. Um, it's, it's early days on, on how we can do this, but it's, it's a very exciting time. When we looked at this back in 2017, 2018, we were just way too early. We were like, uh, you know, and bearing in mind, I launched Sun Exchange in 2014, 2015, uh, before Ethereum even existed. You know, people always ask me, like, why, why are you doing this in Bitcoin? Like, this is crazy. This is some crazy thing. Bitcoin is never going to survive, and, and lo and behold, it has. But you know, we're, we're definitely a first mover in this space, and always have been a couple of years ahead of what is actually possible. And of course, um, uh, electrifying and moving to sustainable energy, the entire uh, uh, planet mm. uh, is the end goal. So uh, yeah, you have it's, it's, uh, a lot to do. We do. I mean, it's. I mean, our company mission is to connect the world to the sun. That's our mission. Mm. Uh, and, our, and our vision is for, for anyone to be able to participate in, in that. Um, and and any, when we say connect the world to the sun, we mean for every business to be connected to the sun and for individuals to be connected to the sun via, via sun exchange. Um, you know, we are monetizing sunshine for, for individuals. You, know, you put your solar panel, solar panel on the roof, the photons hit the solar panel, it gets turned to electrons. Those electrons are sold for data and that data is sent to you. Um, and then you can convert that data back into electrons again to power your home. It's, uh, that's the conveyor belt that the Sun Exchange is. Um, and um, yeah, that's, uh, 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 we're well on our way. Thank you very much. Thank you.